Assalamualaikum and hi. We are from Nupla. Today we are going to present about what is cancer. My name is Narayana Shafika Lady Marsti. My matching number is AA220399. My name is Mohamed Abdan Bin Makanef. My matrix number is AA221322. My number of name is Fatih Khalidah Bidhi Raslai. My matrix number is AA221216. And my name is Nar Shafika Lady Bidhi Narayana. And my matrix number is AA221089. What is what is cancer? What is cancer? Uh, the important things to our daily life that can provide fresh and clean water. The main purpose of this innovation is to meet the specific need of industry that ensure the fresh, clean, and safe water supply to various sources that do not need any manpower. <laughs> The prototype that we made is made out of reusable materials such as pots, plastic bottles, and straw. We will take it first, we put the lid inside the box, and then we measure the part that we need to cut. Uh, they will be discarded, we will put inside, and then put together. Next, we put, we made the two holes to follow the box to put the bottle bottles inside. The water bottle has already holes in it, so we can put straw in it. The straw and the bottle, and then glue together to prepare the pitch. And then we can put water inside the test water and the bottle to put Now the water dispenser is ready to use. Next, how does our water dispenser work? Our dispenser is the thermodynamic concept which is first law of dynamic. First law of dynamic thermodynamics say that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can convert into another form. So, in our dispenser product, we convert the potential energy where the water is placed at the elevated, and then it converts into kinetic energy where the water from the elevated space flows down to the cup. Uh, in our water dispenser, it also has the thermodynamic concept, which is heat transfer, where the temperature inside the water dispenser can change depending on the temperature of the surrounding environment. This concept does not only apply to water dispenser, it also applies to other things such as hydro hydroelectric tanks, water towers, gas dispenser, and many things. You thought that um, water dispenser is very useful in industry. Uh, application of water dispenser in industry, uh, including agriculture, heavy metal, and oil and gas. For agriculture, water dispenser can be used to control irrigation in the agricultural field or can be used to livestock by providing a water supply. For heavy metal, Water dispenser can be used uh, as cooling system by regulating temperature or um, heavy machinery and industrial process. Uh, and last but not least, oil and gas, uh, water dispenser can hydrate the workers by drinking uh, the water and it can be used to control the temperature in gas processing tanks or refineries. refineries. Uh, I want to show. Uh, I want to share a, a, a facts about uh, water dispenser concept. In engineering fields, water towers have a similar concept as water dispenser. This is our prototype. Let me show you how our prototype works. When we open the lid of the water, the, water, the pressure enter inside the water and it push away the water. And the water that has been pushed by the pressure flows down to the cup. The, the pressure pushes the water in order for the uh, air pressure to exit the water through this hole on the straw. Uh, what is the thermodynamic concept in this prototype? So, uh, um, this 
for the third as pretend as a water tank. This water is stored at the elevated space where the height of the water is above the ground. It's the ground and this is the height of the water. Therefore, so it spreads a gravitational potential energy. And then, when I open the lid of the water, the water which has the gravitational potential energy close down to the cup you can see that it converts from the potential energy to the kinetic energy and the temperature of the water can be vary and can be changed from time to time depending on the temperature of the surrounding if the temperature of the surrounding is hot or the water is hot then the temperature of the water inside our water tank will increase but however if the water is cold or the surrounding temperature is cold then the temperature of the water inside our water tank will be reduced and then will be in low temperature so how much does our water tank cost? Well, we only use the recycled material for our water tank. As you can see, plastic water bottle, plastic cups, and air for box is all recycled, and therefore we don't spend anything for our water tank. So the water tank is not a system because when the person open the need to get water. The volume and the mass of the water inside is is reduced. As you know, flow system, the volume and mass will remain the same. Only energy that goes in and go out. And for this case, the volume of water is reduced every time a person open the lid to take water from the exotic space. Therefore, our water tank is not a closed system. Our water tank is an open system. So, for the supplementary problem based on our prototype, I have created two questions based on each thermodynamic concept that has been used to our prototype. So, for the thermodynamic concept, First law of thermodynamics, which is energy conservation. The question is this. The water dispenser has a tank in which the water is elevated at 20 cm. A consumer opens the water valve to get some water to drink and the water coming up from the tank through a tube straw and close the valve. The water inside the tank is now elevated at 50 cm. Determine the velocity of water coming up at the end of the tube when the consumer is opening the valve. Then this is the water dispenser before the consumer opening the valve. It says that assume the velocity at the tube that connected to the tank can be negligible. This is the tube that connected to the tank, so the velocity here can be negligible. This V1 equals to 0. Then uh, the question 1 is to find the velocity of the water coming up at the end of the tube, which is this velocity here. Okay. Since the elevation, first elevation is 30 cm, second elevation is 50 cm. Have to convert it to meter first. Convert 20 cm to meter, we get 0.2 meter. Convert 50 cm to meter, we get 0 0.2 1.5 meter. Okay. It's the energy. Energy equation. Kinetic energy equals to potential energy. Okay. Kinetic energy is V2 to the power of 2 minus V1 to the power of 2 divided with 2000 and then equals to P E G multiple with elevation 2 minus elevation 1 divided with 1000. Okay. We want to find the velocity 2. Velocity 1 can be negligible, so we just put 0 there. And this is gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81. Then, elevation 2 is 0 0.15 after the consumer opened the valve. 
elevation one is 0 0.2 before the consumer open the valve. Okay, divide with 1000. We get the velocity 2 at the end of the tube is V2 equals to 0 0.99045 0 meter per second. Next question, based on the thermodynamic concept, heat transfer. A 3 kg water dispenser is being placed at random playground for the crystal to drink. Initial temperature of water inside the water tank is 5 degrees Celsius. After a few hours, the pressure of water changes into 10 kPa and the volume of water is 5000 ml. What is the temperature of water after a few hours at the playground? Assume the phase of water inside the water tank is saturated liquid. So, it says here that M equals to kg. Initial uh, temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. So, state 1 is T equals to 5 degrees Celsius. Then, the water at state 1 is saturated liquid. So, we know if the space is saturated liquid, it means that P equals to PZ. Now, we have to refer table at 5 degrees Celsius. If the table F4 at 5 degrees Celsius, then we get the temperature is 0 0.8725 kilopascal. That is the temperature, this is the pressure for the state one. 0 0.8725 kilopascal. And then for the state two, it says that uh, volume of water after a few hours is 5000 milliliter. Okay. Firstly, we have to convert it to the meter cube unit. Then we get v volume equals to 0 0.005 meter cube. Okay, uh, mass is kg as we know. And we have to find the specific volume. Which is specific volume equals to volume over mass. Then we get the specific volume at state 2 is... 0 0.001667 meter cube per kg. So it also states that based on the question, state 2 after a few hours is the pressure change into 10 kilopascal. And they ask, because they ask, what is the temperature of the water? After a few hours at the program, so what is the temperature of the water at state 2? As we know, the Pressure as state 2 is 10 kilopascal. Now we have to refer the table element A5 at P equals to 10 kilopascal. We have to compare the specific volume of liquid, specific volume of gas, and specific volume that we have counted before. Now refer the table A5 at 10 kilopascal. Specific volume liquid is 0 0.001010. The specific volume at paper, this volume for paper is 40.670. Compared to the specific volume that we have counted before, uh, 0 0.001667. So we know that uh, specific volume for liquid is smaller than specific volume that we have counted, and that is smaller than uh specific volume of gas so this indicates that the phase of water after a few hours at the playground is saturated liquid vapor mixture as we know if the phase is saturated liquid vapor mixture t equals to c set now we have to look at the table f5 again to look at the temperature saturated um uh, 45.81 degrees so that is the our final answer. The temperature of the few hours at the playground is 45.81 degrees Celsius. So, in conclusion, this research used the concept of thermodynamics to create a system that are beneficial for a lot of people. By manipulating the water elevation and pressure, we managed to create a water dispenser that is cheaper than the alternative. This show that understanding thermodynamics are very useful and allow us to applicate it toward our everyday life. 
By learning thermodynamics, we can gain a deeper understanding of our world and appreciate for the wonderful benefit that it brings to our to our life. Okay, it's all for us. Thank you.